And Moby is, we're a mobile data company. So easiest way to kind of bucket us is a mobile ad network, but we're global, huge data footprint. Mm -hmm. um, we've been collecting data for 10 plus years. So we just sit on all this awesome data about consumers. And then we help um, agencies and brands be smarter about how they're targeting, um, with what messaging, and just sending the right message to the right consumer at the right time. Given where we are in 2015, what are you passionate about? What are you excited about that's happening right now that you walk into a meeting and you talk to your clients about? What is it that um, you see has a tremendous amount of value in the mobile tool set for a marketer this year? Not what's coming, but this, this year, year in yeah. today's plan that they need to execute within days and weeks. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, something that makes me excited is being able to close the loop for our clients. Mm -hmm. So we work with um, a big QSR brand and being able to do everything from them from location-based dynamic mileage ads, showing someone who's half a mile from their location an ad, a relevant ad. Designing the creative for them, so giving them recommendations on how to make the creative engaging, what the consumers are going to interact with, um, different messages for different parts of the day, for different products. So you got the targeting, you got the creative, and then actually the full circle of that is the Insta attribution piece. So we work with Placed, um, who's also here. Mm -hmm. They're a great third-party partner of ours that help us measure Insta attribution. So being able to close that loop for our clients and not only say we're serving your media and consumers are engaging with it, but now we're able to tell you, and this is how many people converted in-store and even get closer to purchases and um, at what rate they're converting in-store and testing a bunch of different targeting out. Um, did moms convert in store to higher rate than millennials? Mm -hmm. And being able to close that loop for them, they get really, really excited about that data. So we've been doing a lot of that kind of closed loop um, strategy and testing a bunch of different things, making optimizations, recommending things to them, and just um, being able to have all that data to sit on and then help them be strategic and act more as a strategic partner than just, just Taking, putting media out there in the ecosystem, really being a consultant and a str strategic partner with our um, agencies and brands. What would be the one thing that you'd like to change? Probably closing the loop with sales, mm -hmm. just for marketers. Talk about that. Yeah, so right. marketers, that's at the end of the day, they want to sell product, right? Mm -hmm. They want to push product. And we're still not able to get there 100% through mobile. Mm -hmm. We can get to in-store attribution. We can tell you how many people went in-store. But actually closing that loop to a sale, and not even a sale at the store, but what did that consumer purchase? Mm -hmm. Did they purchase the product that we're advertising? That's what I would love. That's like the golden ticket in mobile, I think. If, if someone could solve for that and we can tell them, we can actually close that sales loop for you even further and tell you your media caused X, Y, and Z in sales in this product, mm -hmm. I think that would be just the magic ticket that would be super successful in the but, space. Because in, intuitively, you know that they're closing sales. Right. But the data to prove it. Isn't there yet, yeah. There's a conversation that's going on that uh, talks about how the eyeballs are clearly showing up in mobile, and um, but the ad dollars aren't. And then there's another argument that's sort of connected to that that says that um, the uh, creativity in ad units falls short of expectations. And maybe mm -hmm. if we got the creative a bit better, the ad sales would fall. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Yeah, well, and Moby does a lot in the app download space too, and we get all these stats about how much money is being spent in the ad space, and I think a lot of people think that's brand, and most of it's app download. Mm -hmm. um, so I hear that just based off of where the revenue is coming internally. And yeah, I think in terms of creative, um, there are people that are pushing the envelope and doing some really cool things. Um, we have a great creative solution. I'm always impressed by the things that our creative team's coming up with. And you are, you are limited in terms of the actual real estate on a phone and a tablet. Um, but they come up with some super innovative, cool technologies, shaking functionality, vibration functionality on the phone, just things that are going to grab a user's attention. So um, I don't necessarily know that if creative were to improve if ad spend would be there um, because I feel like the creative in mobile is actually pretty good right now. Mm -hmm. um, so don't necessarily know if there's a correlation between the two um, at the moment. I think people are just still trying to figure out um, back to our original point of mm -hmm. attribution and sales, just trusting that uh, mobile really works and having the data and the tracking to back that up. I think that's what makes marketers and brands most nervous, not as much the creative innovation more about being able to prove it out in the mobile space.